What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the MCC Body Shop channel. Thank you for all your likes, subscribing, commenting, sharing. Thank you for all your support. We are almost at the peak of a thousand subscribers. We're almost there. We need a couple more hundreds and we should be good to go. But thank you for all those who have already subscribed, the ones that always like being sending me messages. They will like go to my Instagram, be like, yo, what's the next video? Yo, it's been a while, this, that. So I know, I know I've been busy. I'm sorry. It's hard for me to record myself, do stuff, edit it, upload it. So I'm sorry for that, but we are trying to be back on track. So thank you for that. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And um, it's, it's just a, a push for myself to just keep going. So thank you so much. I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I wanna be shortly, I wanna uh, be quick. So I'm trying to do today something that I have not done anything before. It's pretty much gonna be my first, first time. And we are gonna do it on my pickup truck. We got the 2022 Toyota Tundra. You probably already seen the, the, the beginning of the video. I might did a short overall video on the truck. So, um, I want to do some forged carbon skinning, if that's the right term. So pretty much I'm going to wrap some parts on the inside on real carbon fiber forged pieces. And I'm also going to do some custom touch. Um, I don't think I'm going to do like a step by step how to do it. Because like I said, it's my first time. I really don't know how to do it. I just see a couple videos and I'm like... It looks pretty easy, so I think I might be able to do it myself. So I'm just going to give it a try on some small pieces. Nothing with a lot of curve or nothing, just some flat pieces that the car have, the, the pickup truck had on the interior. They're already black, so I just want to see if this is something I might be interested in keep doing it and learn how to do it more professionally. I probably can bring my services to somebody that might want to do that on the cars. I'm in the, all the custom business, customizing your car. So I do body work, painting. I'm slowly learning how to do wraps around corners and stuff like that. So yeah, I always like to learn new stuff. So I'm gonna try this for the first time today. I just wanna record it, give it a shot and show you guys how it, it, it looks before and how it's gonna came out. So we not more to say. I'm just going to show you exactly what I want to do. So you might already see videos on Tundras. If not, you can go check it out. There's a bunch of videos on reviews, how the truck look, the truck, if, if it really does good mileage. If not, I'm not the owner of that stuff. My stuff is just my custom stuff. You already know me if you follow me for a long time already. So this is what I got. On the door panels, we got these pieces, already shiny black. Oh, my bad. Already shiny black. So, I'm going to try this first. Depending how these pieces come out, I might do the top and I might do this. So, the whole setup will be forged carbon. I don't know yet. I might only do that and probably just throw like a color around. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm not, if I'm going to go blue, red, orange. I don't know, I always got different stuff. So I got all four doors, same piece. Passenger size got the same piece. Rear size got the same pieces. So all four doors and the shifter base or vessel. I don't know, but this will be the other one. So I'm gonna do these pieces first. That and the ones on the doors. And depending how that come out, I might do other pieces. I might try to do something on the steering wheel. I don't know. I might try to do something somewhere else. And um, But I really want to do the door handles later on. I don't know how that's going to come out. But I want to do the door handles. I want to do the mirror caps. Same thing. And I really want to do the fender flares. Fender flares are already like trim black. 
the TRD Pro got some type of design on the fender flares. So that's why I'm thinking I might do that forged carbon. And I don't know, I might do something on the grill, but I don't want to do it too much. So that's what I got going on. So like I said, this is just going to be a trial. Please, don't hate on me if you see I'm doing something wrong. Don't start commenting negative like, oh, that's not the way you should do it. Or that's not going to look nice. If you don't like it, just keep it. Go to the next guy. I'm just trying to trying to share with people that probably on the same mentality or, or they want to do themselves better or they just want to learn something new. Like I said, if you're trying to see the video to see how it come out, great. If you're trying to see this video to see like how to do it step by step, step by step, I don't recommend you to then see this video. I know it's my channel. It would be great if you see the whole video, but this is not a step by step. So if you're going to probably like this video, hit that like button. Stay with me if you think you might want to see the outcome. And let's go to work. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so we got the pieces already. Um, to take this part out of the truck was a little bit of situation because I had to take the door more um, the door panels off just to take this thing off because it got screws on the back. So and then to remove this, I almost had to take almost the whole metal console just to do that shifter part. But I want to show you this is what I got. We got the forged carbon um, already there. We got the sandpaper tape brushes sticks plastic cups scale um, some metal rollers and pretty much that's it for now and then obviously the resin and the hardener for the epoxy um, I already sanded with 60 grit so it's already sanded I'm about to start mixing the resin and because this parts already black that's a ground coat um, on the back so I don't have to put no black um, pigmentation on it because the resin obviously is clear so I don't have to do no black pigmentation or nothing so for now that's it um, I'm gonna mix a little bit of that that epoxy and then I'm gonna lay down one coat I'm gonna let it dry probably an hour to an hour and a half and then start laying down the carbon uh, the forged carbon pieces I don't know yet. I'm gonna be um, pretty much just checking it every probably half an hour or so because I'm in Florida and this sun is hot. This sun is hot. Right now it's like 110 degrees on my garage. So it's super, super hot. But this is pretty much what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna mix the resin, start laying it down, let it sit. For like an hour, hour and a half, and then I'm gonna come back and start laying the forged carbon fiber pieces. Let's go. Okay, so this is how it looks. The, the first coat of um, epoxy, and I forgot to tell you, this is a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So you're gonna have to put same. Um, amount of each one of hardener and resin so the just to, to give you that quick thing but like I said because it's already black underneath I don't have to put no black pigmentation and the thing about the black pigmentation if this would be like gray white red or any other light color on the background because it's forged carbon if you miss like a little spot in between the beads or whatever um, it's gonna show the color underneath it so it will be better you have a black underneath or like a black base and then you do your forged carbon if you're doing the forged carbon if you're doing regular carbon fiber like mats and stuff like that I don't think really you're gonna need it like I said it's my first time so I really don't know much of it so if I'm wrong I'm sorry um, but it's looking good so far, so I'm just going to give it a couple minutes, like probably an hour or so, let it tack out a little bit, because right now it's like super wet, 
and then um, I will come back, start laying down the forged carbon, and keep going the process. Okay, so this is how it's looking right now. Uh, I add a little bit of that red on it. Um, I add that red um, just to give it a little touch. So pretty much like I said, this is not a step by step. So, but I'm gonna tell you what I did. I sent the whole part with 60 grit. I laid on one coat of resin and um, I let it tacked up from, from like 45 minutes to an hour. Then I start laying on my carbon fiber pieces the forged ones, the chopped carbon fiber, I start laying it down and I let it tack down for another like 30 minutes and then I laid out my first coat of resin and when I did my first coat of resin I start adding the red. Um, pretty much uh, this is supposed to be more redder but I guess whatever I bought it was not compatible probably with the resin so when the rest is start drying out and level it up, um, it took some of the red out and it was like bleeding through. Um, you're really not gonna see it now because I got it already sanded. But pretty much what I did last night, I put three coats of um, um, epoxy. So uh, I put a coat between like every hour and a half, I put a coat. So I got three coats on top of that. And then what I did today, I let it sit overnight what I did today I just sand it with a block I just block it out sand everything as straight as I could with a um, hundred grit then I will make my weight up to 220, uh, 180 and then 220 and then after the 220 I almost finish it up with 400 and um, it still got some you see the dark spot it still got some little imperfection something I have to still fill up it got some pinholes here and there so but it's pretty flat so far you see it's pretty flat um, I retape this part and what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna mix more epoxy and I'm gonna try to do two to three more coats and I'm gonna do like probably a coat between one hour to an hour and 20 minutes depending um, how fast it start hardening it up but um, pretty much that's it I'm just gonna wait make my way up to probably two three coats and then let it sit overnight and tomorrow I'm gonna do the same process I'm gonna probably just send it with like 180 first and then or 220 either one I'm gonna see which one works better and then if I don't have any imperfection then I made my way up probably to 600, 800 to 1000 and either buff the epoxy or clear coated it. I don't know yet so once I'm there I'll let you guys know what I'm doing but so far this is how it's coming out. Um, I'm gonna be honest yesterday I was super scared when I did this and it was a bunch of resin just dripping a bunch of like chopped carbon fiber and just bucking up and it, it was for me it was a mess but to be honest I'm impressed so far like I said this is the first time I do it I might skip in process or I might doing something wrong at this time but so far it's coming out good so this is what we got I'm gonna lay down more resin now I'm gonna give it like an hour hour and a half probably do two to three to four coats I don't know I, I, I see how many time I got in between and how it's coming out so that's what we got let's do it so this is how it looked with the first coat um, pretty much ah this thing looks awesome this thing looks so nice it's pretty straight I got a, still got a couple imperfections here and there, but not bad to be my first time. So I'm just gonna let it. I'm just gonna let it dry for another hour and a half. And uh, it's still sunny outside, and here in Florida it's super hot. So right now I'm inside the garage, so it's probably like 98 degrees, 100 degrees inside here. So I think when within like an hour hour and 15 minutes I should be able to put a second coat so I'm just gonna let it dry in there 
not desperate myself so I really want to get this thing done but um, so far it's been like two days of work um, I, I didn't think it was gonna be this nice as a second try but it's getting there I'm, I'm, I'm loving it already this thing looks so nice let me see if I can focus a little bit closer yo look at that thing it looks so nice so when I see that it's nice to have a back background um like a black base it's because of this if you see right here you see black and then the carbon fiber that's what like um, I really didn't put that much of a chopped carbon fiber in there so if you mean spot like that you see like right here so if you uh, miss spot like that this was when I was sanding it I went too much and I almost took the carbon fiber out but you see it's it's not that bad so that's why it's important to have a black um, underneath or like a base as you can see in between there you see some black spots right there you see some black spots so if you're gonna do this on a on a lighter uh, piece or a lighter part it's good for you to know that it would be nice to get a uh, black pigmentation and just do like a black ground coat first and then work your way up but so far I'm loving it so I'm gonna wait an hour and I'll be back for a second coat okay guys so this is the final product it is shiny so what I did I let it dry overnight I take it to the shop today with me and I sand it with 400 I block it out make everything smooth then I went and sand it with a thousand and I put two coats of clear coat on it and this thing is ready to go look at that thing so shiny this thing is nice it's not sunny outside but let me see yeah you can tell a little bit the difference but yeah I mean it came out amazing look at that I can't wait to put it on so um, right now I'm just gonna trim two of them because really I don't have to trim those I already trim it before I clear them so all the edges are clean but this is the driver's side and I got my um, seat memory button in here so let me see if I can focus it so if you can tell I got some material that I had to cut in trim it clean it out and this I got it pretty much trimmed out already most of it but it's still still got some epoxy on the edges so I'm a, I'm gonna clean that also trim it out make it nice and this piece in the center console when I was doing it I had to take this trim out which is go right here on this edge so that's why I had to clean it a little bit more because I had to attach it back on and glue it back on so that way it'll be right there so my truck has this great trim all around the doors and the center console I was thinking I already did this red accent on the forged carbon so I might later on I might paint this red just to have like a different different trim on it I don't know if you have watched this video so far let me know what you think but right now this is all I got I got my Dremel out I got my little different setup for the Dremel so I'm gonna clean this out oh look at that view Whew, boy this thing is gonna look so nice so yeah I'm gonna have I'm gonna do that trim it out clean it out make sure everything fit nice perfect and install it back so that's what I'm gonna do tonight it's about to rain and pour out so I'm gonna take my time with this and tomorrow I put it back on so keep it tuned guys all right guys so let me show you the last product and this sun is so, 
Ta-da! This is how it looks. Yo, that thing is so nice. Let's, let's look. Look at that, guys. Look at that. This is so nice. Um, Man, I'm so impressed on myself. I didn't know this thing was going to be so nice, to be honest. Came out super clean, super good. To be my first time, I really can't complain. You can see this thing is nice, man. Got all four doors and the middle console. So, obviously, I'm ready to do more parts. So, this is what we got so far. Look at this one. Yo, look at that. So cool. Can't believe I did it. I did it, guys. I did it. Get that right there. Da -da. So now, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the door handles. Um, I want to do the fender flares, and I want to do my muff flaps. I think my next that's gonna be my next project then i might take this vinyl out because i just vinyl wrap this i might just take it out and then do this back piece on the bumper so yep that's what we go so far maldonado's car care baby and like i always says thank you for watching thank you for subscribing comment share it see you guys on next one